I have been buying photo books on eBay for a while now. Uh, mind you, not the expensive ones that are featured in the books about photo books, and of course also not the ones that are really not just so interesting. I'm usually just browsing uh, and looking what can be found, and then occasionally I come across something that's maybe interesting, and here's one that I bought. Um, it's missing its dust cover, and uh, if you watch this in HD you can probably see that it's sort of a little soiled here, there's a little something embossed, um, and it's called Hanover, and it's one of those, there's, there's an infinity of books like this, and I think they're still being made, and uh, you can probably tell the age of the book from the font, so this is one of those many books made about a city. And you can buy them in tourist offices and everything. This one is a copyright date of 1959. Um, photographer is given as Dr. Wolf Strache, um, who is also apparently the producer of the book. And then there's a bunch of other photographers. And uh, this is the introduction by the, uh, the mayor and the administrative director of the city. So it's a sort of an official book. And it's it, it was made to basically showcase Hanover uh, about uh, 15 years after World War II. Hanover was um, destroyed during World War II, much like most other major German cities. And the, uh, the city planners and the then uh, rather newly uh, founded West Germany decided to showcase their rebuilt city to show how beautiful it was. Okay, so let's just skip over the context here so you can see the table of contents has a lot of information about the pages so they give you the information what you actually see and then there's a little bit uh, of a blurb about what it is it's it's uh, for all purposes it's propaganda you could call it propaganda uh, irrelevant propaganda maybe or benevolent and then there we go um, so <clears throat> I think in terms of the design, it's a rather typical design if you look at these kinds of books from that period. And um, of course they start off with what little is left of the old Hanover. You see, as I said, there's, there's some issues with condition. Um, I'm not really so interested in the conditions of the books. Usually if I can get a little bargain, that's great. <clears throat> and if it's a book that looks interesting for whatever reason then that's even better and the condition is really just you know if it is in great condition that's great if it's not so great then that's okay so so far uh, you know this is maybe something that you would have expected so far with you know showing the old buildings this is the, some general there the, this is the new town hall apparently that was an old town hall doesn't look so new Okay, and then we're getting into slightly more modernist, uh, modern parts of the city. And you see the 1950s, late 1950s Hanover. Of course, the, the inner part of the city was completely destroyed and everything got replaced uh, rather hastily and quickly. Of course, people were able to enjoy their, their new cities again with you know the cars and all that kind of stuff and the neon lights um, when you go to these cities now they look positively hideous in the centers because all these buildings are just really terrible architecture but in 1959 people were happy to live in you know a city that actually had buildings and everything and there was a in the late 50s early 60s an atmosphere of of boom, especially economical boom in West Germany. So everybody was, it was a very um, politically rather stifling atmosphere, but everybody was, was happy as long as he didn't ask any questions and everybody was well off. You know, everybody had their little homes, um, you know, with their balconies and their plants. Um, not all of these buildings are necessarily new. Uh, I'm not an architecture expert to know. Um, there are some buildings from the 30s and 40s that look just like that. Now this is a, I think, is one of those many, many books made about 
cities and I have a bunch more and they are usually overlooked or not even talked about when people talk about photo books. Um, I guess because there's no artistic intent behind them or maybe somebody is now writing a book about these kinds of books or already has written a book about these kinds of books who knows there will probably be a photo a book about photo, about any kind of photo book in the future um, so there we go this is uh, Hanover hasn't really improved much since then if you ever go back you know if you think about going back maybe you know there's a train stop uh, but you know Maybe just stay on the train. Um, no offense if you live in Hanover. If you live in Hanover, then of course it's rather beautiful. Um, it's not. So, the design of the book is, of course, very conservative, but it's not made for, uh, for people who appreciate design. It's just a rather standard design. It's designed to showcase the city, not the book. And the photographs, of course, are not... Uh, particularly important. They're just designed to show whatever is in those photographs. Um, there might be some sort of an aspect of a sequence here. Um, if you just watch the video again you might see what's going on. This is, uh, you know, industry now. You know what Volkswagen is, Continental Aid uh, Company. And then some aerial view. There's an airport in Hanover. And then, of course, there's the very famous uh, Hanover Fair, uh, which is, I think is now split at least into two parts, the Industrial Fair and the Computer Fair, still happening every year. So back then it was just one, one fair. Okay, and this is uh, interesting. These lines were made by Arno Breker. And of course, I don't really know, I didn't look this up when they were made, but Arno Breker was a sculptor that the Nazis liked very much. Um, so some stuff, of course, was uh, left behind, not much though. And, you know, it's, um, you know, you have an idea what it is, but it's not obviously um, from that period. And there's recreation, I would have to look that up when that was made. But I have an inkling. And then you go out, there's a stadium, and of course you have trees in Hanover, isn't that beautiful? So this I think is a rather typical, there's a zoo, there's a rather typical book showcasing a city. And I have more and I'll show more. This one is, as I said, is from the late 1950s, 1959, and it was made by the city of Hanover. And um, a lot of these are being sold on eBay, some for very little money. And this is, of course, the last image. And that's it. So you can find these on, on eBay for not so much money, often in okay conditions. This one is in okay condition. So look around and have a peek what you can find.